Style by April, bringing you your weekly style tips for 365 days of style. How are you doing this week? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're putting to use some of those tips that I gave you last week. And we are now in February. So I am going to be giving you style tips for February 3rd to February the 9th. And I'm going to expand on the tips that I've been giving you every day on Twitter and on Facebook every day at 9 a.m. Okay? So, first style tip. Style tip number 34. I said it is a fashion faux pas for you to have buttons that are on your shirt if they pucker. And we've been through this before with some style tips that I've given you. And I said that make sure that your buttons lay flat. The reason that your buttons may pucker is like this or do like this and the buttons pucker it's because your breasts are too large and it's not a proper fit for you if your butt if your button the front of your buttons are puckering what you need to do is go up a size and tailor the rest we said this before but this is something that we don't necessarily do for shirts because we think it's a take it off the rack one size fit all and it's not um, even if you are a larger busted woman and you are small everywhere else it's just you have big a big chest you may have to find yourself going to the plus size section to get the proper fit and then get everything tailored so if you find that you're a little bit taller bigger breasts plus size might be the best option for you but if you are shorter smaller and you're petite go up to the miss section, the, rest, the regular size section, and then you'll go ahead and get everything else tailored in, okay? Style tip number 35, lint rollers, lint rollers, lint rollers. Put one in your car, put one in your makeup bag, put one everywhere. Lint rollers are essential because you just never know where you're gonna sit. You never know what you're gonna brush up against. I remember one time when I was working a nine to five and <laughs> I don't know where I sat but I sat somewhere on somebody's couch in their office and I got up and I had lint all over me it was really really bad and I did not have a lint roller and luckily my um, one of my na next door neighbors in her office she had one in her her desk and I said from now on I will never ever 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 have uh, be without a lint roller so keep a lint roller on you just never know what's going to happen it just will keep you nice and clean but then also too sometimes if you have sweaters that are very fuzzy they get peels very easily and you can wear them and they'll have a pill on them so just quickly just take the lint brush and then the pills will come off and then you're ready to go style tip number 37 high boots sometimes your high boots will lose their shape or lose their form. The best way to keep the form of a high boot is to take a newspaper or to take a um, magazine and roll it up and then stick it inside of your high boot. This will keep the shape so that all you have to do is take them out and it has its shape. Um, typically they'll slouch down especially the ones that are um, soft leather and they don't have any form you know when you bought them they that you sold they wouldn't sell them with the the um, with the top of the boot kind of limp they had a form in it on the sales floor and then when they brought it to you in the box it was nice and folded or whatever or if it was long it had a uh, styrofoam in it or something of that nature that was bended to keep the shape in it well this or newspaper will help you to keep the shape when you sit them in your closet, sit them upright, and keep the shape. Okay? Style tip number 38. Keep it easy on the jewelry. Either it's going to be a neck party or it's going to be an arm party, but it can't be both. And when I say arm party, I'm not saying you can't wear a necklace and a bracelet at the same time. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that you have an arm party. Arm party is when you put your watch on, you put bracelets, a few bracelets, um, a charm bracelet, and some bangles in your watch. So you're having like a little bit of an arm party. Um, and then a necklace party is of course layering it. You can't do both at the same time. Pick one or the other. It just is just too much, okay? So choose which one you want to do, but I do love layering on your arm and I love layering around your neck. So try either one. 
Then style tip number 39, when in doubt, overdress. Anytime that you think that you're going to be going someplace you've never been, you're going to a lunch meeting or you're going to go on an outing with some friends, a wedding, something of that nature, if you're not sure, overdress. There's nothing worse than getting someplace and being underdressed and feeling uncomfortable. Overdressed people tend to get stared at, but for the right reason. They get stared at because they look they look together, they look pulled together, and they may, people may be looking at them like, wow, they are overdressed, but they look nice. Always overdressed if you're not sure. When in doubt, overdress, okay? Then it's said style tip number 40, thigh highs. Thigh highs are a great alternative to pantyhose or to tights. The reason I say that they are is because sometimes if you're not careful about wearing the proper undergarments, the proper Spanx or the proper girdle, whatever you need to wear to keep it tight under your clothes, sometimes you will find yourself having that little line right in between your belly and that's from your pantyhose cutting into your stomach. You might be working on some things, you're, you're, you're still kind of not there yet, that's fine. But thigh highs until you can get it nice and flat and you don't have to wear anything under your clothes, thigh highs are a great alternative. So those are your style tips for February the 3rd through the 9th. Make sure you check me out on YouTube all of my videos for the style tips that I've given over the past few weeks are up there. Also, you can check me out 9 a.m. every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. 9 a.m. on Twitter and on Facebook. I am on Iconic, excuse me, on Twitter, I'm at Iconic Brand Inc. And on Facebook, I'm Iconic Lifestyle. And it's hashtag Styled by April. Anytime you want to see where I've been doing in my style chronicles, you can see them. And also, just to keep a reminder, I've been having a great response to the style Skype. People have been getting up with me and wanting me to go ahead and style them, style them by Skype. So if that's you and you want a $25, 30-minute Skype style consultation, all you have to do is email me at info at Iconic Lifestyle Inc. If you want to book me for any kind of style job, TV segment, or anything like that, it is booking at AprilReneeClark.com. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the style tips, and I will see you next week with another video on style.